Hi everybody. Uh, today uh, we're going to uh, shoot uh, my AR-15. Uh, it's an 18 inch barrel. Uh, 223. Um, I built this up from many different parts so it's not any name brand or anything like that. Uh, I've got two blocks of ballistic gel. The gel is at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Just brought it out. In the first uh, block of gel on this side, I've got a couple of balloons that are filled with uh, green zombie blood. And we're going to be shooting into them the uh, Hornady Zombie uh, Zombie Max bullet. See, uh, see what they do in this gelatin. Kind of uh, thinking that, and there's what one looks like. Uh, C1 has the uh, little polymer tip on the end of it. It's kind of neat. Uh, 55 grains. They uh, well, they say that they're 320, uh, 3,240 feet per second. So I have uh, the two blocks of gel. I'm going to leave these right in the frame. Kind of a neat looking frame. And then uh, at the very end, I'll put a, a jug of water uh, just to stop it if it continues on. And zoom out a little bit so we get the whole thing in the shot. And so here we go. We're going to uh, load up the AR-15 and take one test shot and we'll see uh, if the gel even stops it or not. Okay. So we have the uh, Zombie Max in 223 out of an 18-inch barrel AR-15 into two blocks of ballistic gelatin. And if I can get it level enough, we should be able to stay in the blocks. If not, we'll redo it. And let's take a look and see what we got. We got a pretty good idea that we uh, went through just about everything I had up here. Except the last final sheet of plywood, which is good. <laughs> um, wound cavity wise, tremendous. Oh, I see what happened. It just knocked everything down. Uh oh, wow. Well, there's that, uh, that where that balloon was. <laughs> and. Continued on through the other balloon, and I'm not seeing an exit uh, anywhere here, so I'm not sure what went on. Uh, I see fragments of lead all over the place. And this is bounced up in the air. Do some little more examining. I've got no entrance on the second piece of gel. So I really do not know what happened. I had a perfect trajectory through here, perfectly straight, um, lots of energy. You can see that wound channel going through there. You can see this big expanse here. And I can fit my whole my finger right through here. That's telling me that that bullet must be in this other balloon. Because it doesn't go past there. And there's like a little pinhole there. Let's take a look. Is this in frame? And it is. So we caught that bullet in the second balloon. Let's see if I can stretch this open and get it out. Now that's pretty cool because um, those are supposed to expand rapidly and not, you know, I mean, they're going to penetrate deep, but they're not supposed to over penetrate um, on soft tissue. And I was beginning in the beginning thinking that that thing just, you know, went right through everything, but it didn't. So there's our bullet pieces, and that tells me that I can actually try that in this solid piece of gel now, without the uh, without all the extra pieces of balloon involved, and see what we can get for a, an expansion in just a one solid piece of gel instead of uh, having those air pockets and water pockets in there. So we're going to do another test fire, and I just got to take a pause to set up some some uh, backstops and what have you. 
Okay, have the same same setup that I had a minute ago. Just replace the uh, backstop. And this uh, first block of gelatin here is uh, just a solid block. The other one, you know, had the the balloons in it, which is kind of cool for some pistol testing. But for these rifle rounds, it just um, um, gives it less resistance when it hits them. So again, the uh, Hornady uh, Zombie Max in 223. I'm gonna fire it into this block and see if we get a little better result than we did before. The result before was pretty neat, but um, also didn't really give us much information because we didn't catch anything really. Caught that bullet in the balloon all in pieces. So we're gonna put one in here and uh, we're gonna go ahead, line up on this thing here, get as level as I can. And here we go. Okay, well, let's see what we got now. <laughs> gonna need some bigger blocks of gel is what the, what the issue is gonna be. There's just too much energy there for, uh, for the 223 to uh, be captured. Um, here's our entry. A little bit high. Took a huge chunk out of it. And then as it goes in here, let's see if I can tear this apart because I can see a deformation on the top. It looks like almost maybe it came out the top. Um, and that's what I'm seeing. It went in here and then it detoured and came right out the top of the uh, gelatin block. So again, we didn't capture that. It just flew out the top and don't know where it went. So we're going to need some bigger blocks to uh, test the 223 on. And I'm not really counting on getting any real good. I mean, that's just vicious tearing. That's just huge. Unless the lead just disintegrated entirely. I mean, you can see there's a little piece here. Teeny, teeny piece. There's teeny pieces in here, like almost dust. And I'm not finding any significant... Uh, bullet but you can certainly see the trauma there's some of the tip some of that polymer um, in the first portion of it and at some point it looked to me like it came out the top of that block which uh, which makes sense it could have been flying you know so fast that it just kind of like something skipping off a of water sort of it's going and going and then it just gets to the right speed and decides to change direction um, Kind of neat. Anyway, that's 223 Zombie Max into Ballistics Gelatin, and uh, we'll have to get some bigger blocks of gelatin.